Kayla, please like and subscribe. We wouldn't make a very good private eye. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Your surveillance skills suck. <laughs> <laughs> try to record Holly and like... Every time I try. Like this. Like, yeah. I get her dancing. All right, Holly. Yeah. One of these days. All right. So today's... Um, I, I just love this one today. So I'm going to read it and then Josh, you can make your guesses. I... You might know who it is. So um, I, didn't want, maybe, I didn't pay attention to Twitter for all well this week. <laughs> uh oh. Maybe not. All okay. right. So they posted Be the Reason Someone Believes in Goodness by embodying kindness, compassion, mm -hmm. and empathy in your actions and interactions. Your positive influence can inspire others to see the goodness in the world and in themselves. Have a wonderful Wednesday. And then the cutest picture of them feeding it's either an alpaca or a llama i'm not sure which one yeah. it is. <laughs> I think it's a um but yeah it's super cute it's down it's yeah so the picture part threw me um i was gonna guess king six but i, I don't know no but who is it it's actually hannah um oh and that's right i did okay. see that yeah. yeah i did see that she is on the newer side to crypto or and to, to Twitter actually, mm -hmm. and but she's every single post has been so positive from her, and it's so far it's been every day. I mean, and it's she posts different pictures like this one, and then pictures of flowers that were like super beautiful, mm -hmm. and I just really like her, and I enjoy her content that she you know she puts out there, and I feel like she deserved to be highlighted. And I believe it's Chris Vaughn's wife. Yeah. Yeah, so she uh -huh. also has become a poker rival. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and okay. I guess she used to play professionally, and she got me a couple weeks back, so I started following her. <laughs> and, but she's super positive, super awesome, so she's congratulations. So, she really is super, super sweet. And, I mean, I don't know. I find it funny when, you know, I reach out to them and say, hey, can I use this? And it's just out of respect because, you know, mm -hmm. I mean, that's just what I do. Um, and so, and she actually was like, oh, yes, thank you so much. And it's like, no, not thank me. Thank you, you yeah. know, for putting this out there. So, you know, and also, Holly, not just with her, but with other people. And I saw it actually a lot. I think it was yesterday. Somebody had posted something. And most of the comments were below it were, actually, it might have been you, Holly, that posted it. Most, a lot of the comments that were below, below it were, thank you, I needed this today. Yeah. And it meant a lot to this person because we don't know what people are going through. And so yeah. sometimes it means the world to people. They just needed that little pick-me-up to go, all right, I got it. So yeah. that's yeah. awesome. Congratulations. And, uh, yeah, if you don't follow her, follow her. Because, like I said, a couple of weeks ago I did. And she, her posts remind me a lot of, like yours, Holly. Mm -hmm. They're they're very yeah. similar. And you guys, I have to tell you, um, at least this week, it was really hard to pick who to highlight um, because I've been seeing more and more people post good morning messages yeah. um, that didn't in the past. So I'm not saying, you know, I'm not taking credit for that, but it's a breath of fresh air to see that people are catching on and actually having that positive um, you know, that positivity first thing in the morning, because I can tell you it helps me. Um, it's not always great to wake up and look at your notifications and see, you know, somebody knocking on that. Like, so you know, keep doing your thing because people really like, they need it more than I think they, they understand. Cause I know I do. So people don't knock on your post first thing in the morning. Do they Holly? Yeah, this morning I had, you know, I had a post from somebody within the Area 32 group. Um, I know that for a fact. And you know what's truly disappointing to me is that you're trolling somebody who really supports a community. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So do you not want me to support that community? Do you want to be the reason that people don't want to be part of it? Yeah. And it's really like it's heartbreaking for me because I started this whole journey through the safe moon community and to see that like people from the community need to make a burner account 
to troll me, to harass me, is pretty freaking sad. Like, yeah. you're only hurting the project and people don't realize that. And so, you know, you're not going to stop me from doing my thing. Mm-hmm. I'm going to continue to do it. But just know, like, you're hurting, you're hurting the project that you're so down with by trolling people through a burner account. And I mean, I just, you know, you know who the people who support this person specifically, I had to do what I had to do because if you were in support of somebody trolling my kind tweets in the morning, yeah. I don't support you. And so I did what I had to do with everybody who was following that account. I just am done. Well, I will tell you, though, Holly, and I think you probably already know this. I think that says way more about them than it does you. It does. It really does. I lose zero sleep over that. Yeah. And, you know, that's easier said than done, um, Mm -hmm. honestly. And I think that a lot of people, it's forget that, you know, we're all human and we all have emotion. Something that... I am so like, I love, have always loved the safe moon community always. And my, I've never really talked bad about it or bad about safe moon or anything. So it's just, it hurts my feelings that you're actually being mean to me after being, you know, with the community for the two and a half years that it's been around, like, and never never would i talk bad about safe moon but i can tell you that the community is putting a very salty taste in my mouth Mm -hmm. that i don't i don't feel the need to support them anymore and that's really sad to me because i do really love safe moon Mm -hmm. well and i and i you know the real ones will be real and the i think the longer we're in the space the longer that you know we are doing life together the more that we can figure out who the real ones are. And unfortunately, even in Twitter, because I think that at a, at a certain level, Twitter will mirror life, that the real ones will rise, but there'll be fewer of them than what we hope there would be. Yeah. And that's okay. That's just kind of how it works, you know? I mean, let's just take our journey, for example, right? Just about 10 months ago, almost, or almost 10 months or 11 months ago, we all got together. Right. And it wasn't awkward. Like it was, we clicked pretty well Mm -hmm. right off the bat, but how much closer are we now than we were like even in the first month? Right. Right. Even though Mm -hmm. everything clicked and we, we realized that everybody was being who they are and everybody's being truthful. And, but the more and more time you spend with people, you either figure out you're going to get closer or you're gonna get further apart. Yeah. And some yeah. people will stay in the middle, but there's, there are honestly, there are, and I'm not, not just saying you, Holly, there are people that I have met through this journey that I literally consider friends. And yeah. some of them I've never met, but we've traded phone numbers, we do things yeah. outside of Twitter, because um, so, the internet can be a very awesome thing. Mm-hmm. But, there are other yeah. people that are very, very supportive that, you know, maybe we'll, I will never meet them or it won't go any further. But there's been a lot of people that started the journey very supportive that are no longer that supportive. Yeah. And that's okay, too. But You know, yeah, and that is okay. I'm perfectly okay with that. But on the flip side, you have to be okay to receive the same thing back to you. Agreed. Oh, and, and that's where the problem really lies, I think, is, okay, like, I'm okay, you know, if you block me. You'll never see me post anything, you know, on Twitter that says, oh, so-and-so blocked me and boo-hooing about it. You'll never see me do it. However, just know that if you want to block me, I'm fine with it, but be okay as well with me blocking you right back. Mm-hmm. You don't want to yeah. see my content, so what makes you think that I want to see yours? Yeah. True. Where that gets messy, though, is whenever you try to go into spaces where people are hosting and you can't because of the blocks over well, what I yeah. would consider a lot of times being very petty. Because oh, yeah. well, if somebody the- blocks us, if anybody pays attention to our Twitter account, I don't know why you would ever block us. But people do. And then sometimes there are spaces I can't get into because I've been blocked. And as far as I know, we've never blocked anybody on Twitter. 
I know we have on YouTube because of some very vulgar things that yeah. were said. Block me. Yeah. But I have no idea who that person even is. Yeah, block Greg. <laughs> but so that's cool and all, I guess, if you want to block people, but you're hurting your own community when you try to hold spaces what? when I can't get into them. True. Right. Exactly. So. And the thing is, is, you know, with along those lines is – if you're a person who, you know, it needs to block people, maybe you should not be a co-host or a host of a of a, a space where, you know, you're supporting a project because when it's all said and done, you're hurting that project. Mm -hmm. I've been in I mean, not been in several spaces, but there are several spaces that I cannot get into because the co-hosts have me blocked. Yeah. All fine and well, but I'm friends with the host. And I support the host because that's his or her project. But now you've exiled, you know, certain people because you chose to have that co-host who blocks everybody. Mm -hmm. yeah. so, you know, it, it, I mean, hell, if you are perfectly fine with your spaces being, you know, 50, 60 people, fine. That is on you. But do not, like, really don't wonder why your project is going nowhere because you you choose to have you know people who don't like others as your co-host well that's and, just all there is and, and i'll be honest with you just to show support sometimes i'll just sign into a space even if i can't pay attention to it just to be like exactly. hey there's another number there but then when it says you can't yeah. it's like all right i'm not gonna try again mm -hmm. so i quit doing that so often Oh, I Go can't ahead. even do that anymore. And the thing is, what people I think aren't realizing is the fact that, um, you know, it notifies you at the top of your spaces of who's in the space. Like, oh, Holly's in that space. So people will actually come in to see, oh, well, Holly's in here. Let's see what, she, mm -hmm. what she's listening to. Mm -hmm. And without that, without, uh, because you have, you know, people blocked, you're not going to yeah. get a distraction. So You're that's right. It. Actually, I hadn't thought about that, Holly, because there's yeah. a lot of times the only reason I'll go into a space is because you're in there or Caleb's listening or Dragon's listening or Whiskey's listening or Chris listening. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Or yeah. it'll tell you they're speaking or yeah. and I'm like, oh, Hennessy's speaking. I, and sometimes I went into some Miami hurricane spaces but just because Hennessy was talking. Yeah. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> and I'm like, I don't care about the canes whatsoever. <laughs> but Hennessy's in there and I don't like Hennessy, so let's let's listen to what's going on. And I'm like, uh, it's more Miami hurricane crap. I don't care. So I, I'll leave. But yeah, I didn't even think about that. But no, that, I, is, that is a good point. Yeah, and I was recently asked to be a co-host of one of the spaces that is out there. And I respectfully declined that because I said, I have people you know, I have people blocked and I'm not going to take that away from you. I'm Caleb. Please like and subscribe.